The Murderer Fiance In the early 19th century, many young women from a certain town kept disappearing. No one had any idea what had happened to them. In this same town, there was a banker who had promised his daughter, Anna, to a wealthy man. The girl, however, did not like nor trust her new fiancé. One day, the fiancé invited Anna to come to his place for a dinner party on Saturday. She tried to excuse herself by saying that she would be busy, but her fiancé pleaded, I have already invited guests for that day. I want all my friends to meet you. So Anna finally agreed to go. On Saturday, Anna's driver took her deep into a dark forest to her fiancé's house. He dropped her off at the door. Anna told her driver he could leave and come back in three hours. Anna had arrived early. She stepped inside the house. Surprisingly, it was silent, and not a soul was to be seen. She slowly walked around the empty house until she ended up in the kitchen. There she found a woman's shoe in a corner of the room. Nearby on a chair, she saw a dress covered with blood stains. At that very moment, she heard some footsteps and loud voices, so she quickly hid in the shadows beside the kitchen cabinet. Soon, some men came into the kitchen, dragging a young woman who was tied and gagged. I'm hungry. Let's have our soup now the fiancé said loudly. One of his friends began chopping up vegetables and said to the young woman, You'll make a nice bit of soup after we chop you into pieces. The men, however, were so drunk that they decided to put off dinner till later. And they all took a nap right where they sat. The captured young girl had passed out from fear. After what seemed like hours of silence, Anna came out of the shadows, careful not to awaken any of the men. She took the bloody dress and managed to slip out the back door. There, in the backyard, she was horrified to see a pile of human bones. She ran from the house as fast as she could. Running down the road, she ran into a man on horseback. She flagged him down and showed him the dress and told him her story. The man put Anna on his horse and rode into town as fast as possible. They told the townspeople what had happened to their missing daughters. The townspeople were so angry that a mob stormed the house, rescued the other poor girl, and beat the men with shovels, clubs, and axes until they were all dead.